I've been waiting for you. Noelle, what are you doing here? Actually, the Albior's hover drive has frozen over in the cold. What? I'm working with Nefri to repair it, but it'll take at least the rest of the night. Oh, I was hoping we could set out as soon as we let Ion rest. Oh well, some things can't be helped. Yes, let's use this time to prepare for tomorrow. Our enemy is Dorian General Grants. You saw what he was like at Belkin. We need to be as prepared as we can. Okay, I'll go leave Ion with Nefri. You guys work on getting ready to go. All right then. Let's split up here for today and make preparations. I'll get the Albior in top shape. Please get some rest. When you get tired, head for the inn. Master, what should I do tomorrow? You? Hmm. Huh. Should I breathe fire in Van's face, or...? You can hide in the item bag like normal. Really? But then I won't be helping! You already help plenty. You're annoying, but you do cheer us up. Master praised me! I take it back. You're just annoying. What's up? You look serious. Really? Well, maybe so. We are going to fight Master Van after all. Yeah, we're going to fight Van. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just thinking about when we were kids. That's right. You and Master Van were childhood friends. <laughs> well, yeah. I used to be scared of everything. My sister used to scold me for not being a man. It was Van who always defended me. It's hard for me to imagine Master Van having been a child. Don't be stupid. Everyone was a kid once. Even you. Seven years old is still a child, you know? What are you talking about? I don't remember being that young. You idiot. You're only seven now. Oh, that's what you meant. You've got 13 years before you're an adult. Enjoy your childhood. Guy, thanks. I'm glad I grew up with you. <laughs> Come on, say shut up or what a pain or something. That'd be more like you. All right, when this is all over, I'll say, man, that was a pain. Just don't say it in front of his majesty. He'll give you that look of his. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought I'd never be able to like you. I felt the same way. You were obnoxious and insulting. But, well, since we've been traveling together, I've come to think that you're... not so bad. Are you being serious for a change? Yes. I know about the nightmares that still wake you in the middle of the night. For you... The fall of Axeriuth still isn't a part of the past. Well, yeah, what do you expect? On nights when you've killed bandits or oracle soldiers, you lie there awake, shaking. I'm a coward. No, that part of you is something I lack. I still can't really grasp what it means for people to die. Jade. I've learned a lot of things by watching you. I'm glad I've traveled with you, Jade. Thanks to you, I've learned what I need to do. It's not the same as Master Van, but you're still a teacher and a mentor to me. I hate teaching. I don't take apprentices. I don't impart knowledge. 
That's okay. I'll just steal it on my own. Oh? <laughs> All right. All of Van's god generals but Dist are dead. All that's left is Van himself. Tyr, are you really okay with fighting Master Van? To tell the truth. Yeah? I don't want to. Van was like a father to me. Even after he left for the Outer Lands, he still came back to see me. Yeah. I loved him. That's why I wanted to make him stop this ridiculous plan. Let's try talking to him again, Tyr. It's impossible. He'll never listen. Still, one last time. We'll start with what we can do, right? You've changed. What's with you all of a sudden? People really can change, but Van doesn't think so. My brother is the biggest fool, the real slave to Yulia's score. Tyr. If it's too painful, you don't have to come with us. You idiot. I promised I'd watch you. Tear. And besides, as his sister, it is my role to end his life. Just don't push yourself. Thanks, Luke. Are you crying? I... I'm not crying. I was just thinking about a bunch of stuff. Don't try to hide it. I see the trails left behind by your tears. Man, how cheesy. You sound like Guy. I'm not trying to sound cool. I'm just worried about you. Oh? So you do love me, after all? Th that's not what I meant. Really? I might not mind marrying you now, if you want. Oh, gee. Arietta died without ever getting the chance to marry someone. It must have been cold under all that snow. So that's what you were crying for? N no no it wasn't. Arietta never knew that the person she loved was no longer part of this world. But the Commandant knew it and used her. And she died because of it. It's just... I don't think that's really the kind of person Master Van is. You honor the Commandant way too much, Luke. Tears suffering because of him. And he used Ion just like Arietta. I hate that old fool. Old fool? Luke, get ready to fight. Tomorrow, we're going to win. I know. I won't lose. I have all of you with me. <laughs> <laughs> 